going? Welcome to my channel where I talk about motorcycles, adventures, and an occasional rally race. My name is Agla and today I wanted to talk about packing for a motorcycle trip. I know, I know, I've said before that I don't like talking about stuff and it's not like there's a shortage of packing videos out there. However, my whole thing is about making life on the road as simple as possible. And so my luggage setup and my packing process is also very, very simple. And that's what I wanted to share with you guys today and show you how you can go from this to this in 30 minutes or less. Now, in this video, I'm going to talk about my luggage setup, the 30 minute system, and I will not be talking about tools, toolboxes or spare parts in this video, just the luggage and the packing. I mean, I do carry some spares and some tools. They all live in this plumbing pipe right here. <laughs> and I'll make a separate video talking about tools um, if you guys are interested. For now though, let's take a look um, just at the luggage. Before I tell you what luggage I have though, I just want you to say this, do what works for you. So many people will tell you you should take aluminum panniers or soft bags, that you have too much stuff, the wrong kind of stuff, too little stuff, stuff that isn't as reliable as other stuff and so on and so forth. Remember that these are just opinions and to form your own, you've got to experiment and find what works for you. And if that is a milk crate, a shopping basket, or a simple backpack strapped to the back of the bike, you do that and you ride on. For me though, what's worked best so far is the Moscow Moto luggage setup. I have the 35 liter backcountry panniers and a 25 liter scout duffel and I'm insanely happy with this stuff because it has dry bags and so it's waterproof. It's very durable, it's virtually indestructible. Believe me, I've tried, I've crashed on on-road, off-road, different speeds and the luggage always held just fine. Um, another amazing feature is that it's dead easy to put on the bike and take it off. The panniers slide into place and are secured with a smart little lock and the duffel is secured by straps. Um, I love how easy it is to take bags off the bike and how simple the whole system is. Again, for me, the simpler is always the better. <laughs> for extra security, I loop a steel wire cord with the lock around each pannier. Yeah, I know that a very determined thief would be able to cut these, but then they would be able to get into your hard panniers too. So this is really more of a thief deterrent and just for peace of mind, really. Now, let's take a look at the packing system. Because I live off my bike, I treat my luggage like rooms in the house. And that makes it easier for me to pack everything up. It also makes for a fun conversation at border crossings. When customs officers ask me what's in my bags, I always point at each one and say, well, gentlemen, this here is my living room, my bedroom, and my office. And that always tends to make people smile. It does make packing easier though. So in my office or my duffel, I've got my laptop, recorder, camera, a uh, notebook, bunch of cables and chargers, that kind of thing. And I also tend to carry a small bag with a change of shirt and underwear and a small toiletry bag, simply because I always take the duffel off the bike. Whereas the panniers sometimes stay on the bike. So all my valuables are in the office uh, as are some essentials for like an overnight stay and sometimes all I take off the bike is my office, my uh, scout duffel bag. My living room contains my mini gym, I use resistant bands for exercising, um, my hiking boots, my clothes and that's pretty much it, it's all pretty straightforward. And finally my bedroom, it used to be called my bedroom because I used to carry camping gear in there, so my tent, my sleeping bag and so on. Um, now that I'm in Europe, I don't, I'm not camping anymore, but I am racing rallies. So I carry my motocross gear um, instead of camping gear now. So I guess I should rename it to closet patio or something, but there it is. And this is it. Once you've got your three, or for you, it might be two or four or 10 pieces of luggage dedicated for a different purpose, you now have three categories for your stuff and that makes it easier to start packing. All right, final piece of the puzzle, packing itself. Now I'm going to confess something and it's going to surprise nobody at all. <laughs> I'm a very messy person. Uh, I don't like folding clothes or putting things away in drawers. Not my kind of thing at all. I don't believe in made beds or same color socks. I don't subscribe to any of that. <laughs> but when it comes to your motorcycle luggage, you have to have some order because in the long run, it will make life so much easier. I mean. You know how you're trying to find your, I don't know, mosquito repellent, but it's at the bottom of your patio, so you have to rubbage through and you gotta take your underwear and a catatuna out and some smelly rain gear first and it is just a complete mess. Well, here's what you can do to avoid this. 
packing cubes. Just pack everything into cubes and that way getting things out of your bags and packing everything up will be so much easier. Such a simple thing, but it makes a massive difference. And you don't even have to buy any specific packing cubes. I, I don't have any brand recommendations here. I just use whatever is available. Something like this. Something like this. You know, bags from your gear, helmet bags are pretty great, Ziploc bags, whatever works. But do pack things up because it make, it'll just make life on the road so much easier for you. So to recap real quick, to pack for a motorcycle trip, you need to figure out which luggage system works for you. Then assign a category to each piece of luggage or do what I did and go like, okay, this is my bedroom, this is my living room, this is my office. Then get a bunch of packing cubes and you're good to go. The one thing I wanted to add though is this, if this is your first long motorcycle journey and you're freaking out about what to pack, pack the same as if you were going for a couple of weeks. It is absolutely impossible to plan for every eventuality out there and there will be some unexpected scenarios and flat tires and missing socks and burn clutch plays, but here's the thing, there are shops out there, there are mechanics out there and you can get bike parts and you can get socks and chargers and new camping stoves, whatever it is that you need on the road. The world is a pretty developed place. And even if you're headed somewhere pretty remote and riding mostly off-road, you can still just go to a bigger town or city every once in a while and get whatever supplies you need. So don't overthink, just pack what you need and hit the road. Let me know if this video was useful and if you enjoyed it and make sure to hit that subscribe button. Thank you so much for watching. See you next time.